Pero hola, muy buenas noches. Eh, sean bienvenidos todos a la clase eh, correspondiente de este día eh, respecto al eh, curso que están tomando de pre-intermedio 1. Eh, bien, este, quiero comenzar. Permítame un segundo, voy a activar la cámara. Un momento. Bien, este, quiero comenzar este, haciendo eh, un pequeño recordatorio en vista eh, pues, de lo que he podido observar en la plataforma. Este, um, hay muchos eh, que aún no han este, comenzado eh, lo que son los ejercicios um, correspondientes de la, lección, de la sección número uno y la sección número dos. A fecha este de hoy, eh, bueno, tendríamos que al menos haber terminado la sección número uno y avanzado parte de la sección número dos, que es la que este, hemos venido trabajando en las videoconferencias anteriores. Eh, solamente este, recordarles eh, la, la importancia, ¿verdad?, de eh, desarrollar esos ejercicios que se encuentran en la plataforma porque son los que eh, inglés corporativo califica para que ustedes puedan obtener eh, su certificado de aprobación. Asimismo, este, recordarles que eh, la plataforma les permite a ustedes que puedan eh, ir avanzando eh, a su propio ritmo, ¿sí?, eh, ustedes pueden ir desarrollando los ejercicios, eh, avanzar en las secciones eh, número 3, 4 y 5, si ustedes así lo desean. Eh, también tienen la opción de poder este, reintentar los ejercicios para obtener el máximo puntaje posible en, en cada una este, de las secciones. Y asimismo sucede con el, el examen de medio curso, que es el midterm que les aparece a ustedes en la plataforma de inglés corporativo y a su vez el, um, el examen final este, que se ha propuesto para este, este curso. Eh, de los que están aquí, ¿hay alguno que eh, por algún motivo pues en especial no haya podido eh, trabajar los ejercicios? Bueno, hay muchos que ya lo hicieron, pero este, no sé si habrá algún motivo en especial del por qué este, eh, no, no han podido ir desarrollando los ejercicios. Puede ser que tal vez eh, hayan perdido el correo electrónico de la contraseña, eh, el usuario o cosas así. Porque si es así, sí me gustaría que lo informara para este, ver eh, de qué forma se les puede ayudar y así solicitarle al staff de inglés corporativo que eh, este, nos colabore con eso y que usted pueda y ir desarrollando pues, sus ejercicios como corresponde. ¿Hay alguien este, por aquí? Si no, pues también lo pueden hacer por medio eh, de WhatsApp de forma directa. ¿De acuerdo? Bien, vamos a dar inicio este, a la clase. So, we're going to start. We're going to switch to English. And uh, we're going to start um, the lesson that we left the last, last week. And uh, I guess if I remember, it was on... Um, It was on Wednesday, I guess. Yes, if, if I remember, it was on Wednesday. Right? So, we want to verify that here. Um, and there is something else that I have to mention, and I didn't mention before, but I guess you received the notification uh, for this week. So, um, this week, we're going to be working uh, from Monday to Friday. Okay, so that means that we are going to be, uh, well, we are going to be like, probably uh, just taking uh, or running a, a little bit with the exercises that we have to develop in a platform because um, as you see, this is the um, second week that we are working, I mean, third week that we are working with English Corporativo. Um, give me just one moment, I'm just logging into the platform. Okay. 
Okay, just let me share my screen. And um, okay, here we have. Uh, this well, the last time we we're discussing about career moves, and well, we we're developing some exercises. If I remember, ah, just take a look of this uh, ad that we have here in the platform. It says, uh, "Después este curso acaba en dos semanas." So good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Angela. Okay. Tell me. Uh, so, how are you, and guys, the teacher? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm very good. Uh, you're joining us? Excuse me for a uh, right letter. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Angela. So, uh, well, we are about to start here uh, with, the, with the topic corresponding for uh, today. So I was just mentioning here that we're gonna be working on uh, section number three today. I just need to um, uh, just take a look of this part. And that is, a comparisons with verbs and past participles. So uh, last time uh, we're discussing about how to use uh, some uh, particles of a sentence in order to construct uh, some sentences in order to compare uh, someone with some word, something with something. Uh, well, just using the structure, uh, if you remember, uh, as plus the adjective plus as and then using that in the object of comparison here. Uh, at the beginning, we we use the, the subject of the, the the ones that we're taking, not to compare with the object of the sentence. Well, uh, this is another part uh, <clears throat> regarding to that topic. So it, it is using comparison with verbs and past participles. So. Um, in this case, uh, as you can see here in, well, you're gonna see here in the in the video um, that uh, the structure is a little bit similar um, of the one that we're discussing the, the last week. So we're going just to watch this video and then we're going to move on to the section number three, okay? So pay attention to this part. Okay, my apologies. I, I guess you are not listening what he's saying, right? Escuchan lo que él estaba diciendo, sí o no? Yeah, I listen. Okay, so um, vamos a dar play nuevamente. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following. A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so if we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns, so we're going to put, uh, we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more, okay? Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more 
money than a doctor. Right? We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases is um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer you can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see right um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer. We're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, the doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right? So we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse. And uh, literally, we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb paid. Um, and if we want to make the comparison between the teacher and the police officer, and we want to s express that they are kind of like on the same level as far as pay, then we can simply say um, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. Okay, um, but with the only difference is that now we're using past participles to make these comparisons. So the last challenge that I have for you in this particular lesson is to make the comparison between two jobs any job, but uh, just to give you a quick example of what I want you to do, uh, we're going to make the comparison between a doctor and a nurse. And what I would like for you to do is to use adjectives to compare the two jobs and also use nouns to compare them, uh, use verbs and past participles. So what could be an example of a doctor versus a nurse? Well, you can say pretty much anything, like I mentioned in previous classes. When we think about comparisons, these are all opinions. So we can say doctors um, working as a doctor is more interesting than working as a nurse. A doctor has worse hours than a nurse. That's if I'm comparing the noun. A doctor earns more money than a nurse. And that's if I'm using a verbs. Uh, I could say um, doctor is better paid than a nurse. Um, and so what you want to do is use uh, what you learned in the previous lesson when we talked about comparisons with adjectives and nouns and what you are learning in this current lesson, um, which is that you are making comparisons using verbs and also past participles. So do that um, for um, this jobs that you see here. Once again, I'll be publishing this document so you can check it out and have easy access to it. 
and attempt to use adjectives, nouns, verbs, and past participles. Okay, uh, well, uh, as you see, all well, the last class were discussing about this. It's just uh, like in review, that we we're just taking to account in order to see the comparisons. Um, now, well, you have some exercises here that suppose that you are going to be developing, or at least uh, you have developed before. And, um, well, you have the, the, I mean, the activity that is 2.8 and also 2.10. Um, there you have it says complete the sentences using the words in parentheses. You ask the same as the same examples that you can see here. And also um, you have here a, another activity that it's a, a listening activity where you're going to uh, just say, pay attention to the audio and answer each questions that is proposed to you in order to answer it. Okay, guys, uh, we are going to move now to the section number three. Um, here we have, it's a section number three. Uh, could you do, uh, I mean, my apologies for the pronunciation. It's, could you do me a favor? Okay, could you do me a favor? So that's a question that we usually use in order to ask someone to do something for us, okay? So um, in, in this lesson objective, uh, it says by the end of this lesson, you will learn about different favor that people ask and express your opinion on favor that you dislike people asking for. Uh, like when someone is asking you or uh, is uh, requesting to do something that probably you don't like to do. So uh, we're going to see how we can answer them uh, in order to be polite with them, okay? So um, here we have, this is a like, a, uh, well, this is a video that we're going to be working on and we have the instruction. It says, watch the video below and take note of all the face words that are asked, which are the face word, I mean, the face word that will bother you the most in which will bother you the list. Okay, write your comments in the discussion forum uh, below the video. So that's something that you have to do. Um, well, here in this part, and it says, eh, añade una publicación. So we're going to eh, just eh, post eh, according to the instruction. Here, I I'm just checking here that just one of you have already done this activity. So um, there we have it. Just let me check who it is. Angelica Roxana Lazo. So she is the ones that has already uh, completed this activity, okay? But um, we're going to focus just on this part. And it says, watch the video below and take note of all the face words that are asked. Uh, I'm going to switch to Spanish in order to explain this, the, this activity. Eh, básicamente lo que nosotros vamos a hacer ahorita es tomar nota de cuáles son los favores que más les molesta este a ustedes eh, hacer. En este caso, eh, me, bueno, tomando la expresión de, de los, eh, de, del video que nosotros vamos a ver ahorita. Y la segunda parte que sería cuál eh, les molesta menos, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es el que más le molesta o cuáles son los que más le molestan hacer a ustedes? Eh, y cuáles son los tipos de favores que menos les molesta hacer. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. So take note because I will be asking you um, some questions in order to, to check if you have been paying attention to this video, ¿ok? Les voy a estar preguntando de forma directa, de hecho, eh, para que me contesten este, el par de preguntas que están propuestas ahí y eh, ver que ustedes han estado prestando atención eh, al video. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Yes. Ok. So, pay attention to this part. Yes, teacher. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but my parents are out of town too. And my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? 
I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey! You've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. Okay, guys, um, this, this is going to be a discussion board uh, where you're going to share um, what are the favors that probably someone has request to you uh, that you consider uh, that's bothered you the most. Okay. Uh, we're going to start getting to the list that I have here. Um, uh, okay, Lorena, for instance. Uh, Lorena, um, what are the things that uh, you consider that bother you when someone requests you? Well, one thing is when someone uh, borrowed me money. I oh, like okay. That. 
Yeah, okay, okay. Um, when someone, somebody came to my home and no, no didn't call me before. Okay. And I have to prepare food and dinner or whatever in that moment and you <laughs> don't have anything to offer. Okay, they, they, they didn't inform you in other yeah. TV prepare for that. Okay, yeah. good, okay. And what are the things that uh, bother you um, the least? From the list? Yes, the, the list. Like, like uh, what are the things that... Um, People can request you, and you're gonna be uh, ah, okay. good in order to in, in order to uh, do that. Okay. Um. To maybe to help with something, to to mm -hmm. take something to someone, or to to make a call, to make an appointment for someone. Okay. To be with to accompany someone to a hospital or with the doctor. That's okay. I like. I like to help. Okay, that. very good. Excellent, excellent. Good, good. Okay, so uh, let's listen to, let me just check the list here to um, uh, Mr. Edgardo. Mr. Edgardo, for you, what are the things that bother you the most when someone requests something uh, uh, to you, like uh, any favor that you don't like to do? Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, I think that... Um, Maybe like in the in the video, I take care of children. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this could be yeah. like a little bit, uh, I don't know, like uh, complicated, probably, yeah. because uh, you didn't expect what you are going to do later. So it's going to be like, <laughs> Like something, something uh, uh, like um, something that you don't want to do. Okay, yes. what else? Maybe do something, but uh, very late at, at night. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe okay. when I when I am uh, I'm going to 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 the bed, and maybe I receive a call, and I don't like it. <clears throat> okay, okay. Mostly if uh, you're gonna be working the next day, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good. And what are things that bother you the least? Things that you are able to do? Mm, uh, most of the cases, I like to, to do favors uh, to other people, but uh, with the exception of that, I said, uh, take care of the children and and do okay. the, the, the favors at late at night mm. but okay. <laughs> in general i like to to do favors okay okay you're good enough okay very good excellent excellent good um now let's listen to let me see here there are a lot of people connected today i mean tonight uh let's see marcela are you there Hi. Hi, good evening. Okay. Good evening. Um, well, we are discussing about the things that uh, probably we don't like to do, or what well, well, favors that we don't like to do uh, to someone when they request something. Uh, what about you? Um, well, maybe uh, wash the laundry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or um, I don't know, maybe something about clean <laughs> i don't oh, like okay, I see. and uh well maybe any, anything when i'm busy oh, okay okay so uh, if you are busy you don't like people ask you favors that's right mm -hmm. yeah okay very right. good and what are the things that um you like to do uh when you are not busy um take care of hmm, children or oh. maybe uh, do the uh, cook cooking oh, cooking okay cooking uh -huh. okay very good so so about, do you like to uh, take care about children's uh, and also a mm -hmm. uh, cooking for someone else good excellent yeah. very good 
Okay, now let's listen to, uh, just let me take a look here, Marlon. Uh, Omar, can you hear me? Are you there? Okay, um, if he's not here, uh, probably Mario Barahona. Are you there, sir? Mario? Yes. Okay, uh, guys, uh, I'm just sitting here. Mario is not here and also Marlon is not here. Uh, well, any volunteer who wants to share with us what are the favor that they are, um, I mean, uh, the he or she likes to do to someone else? Uh, me, teacher. Um, okay, Elvin. <laughs> okay, yeah. good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. Uh, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, I, perfect. I, I am very, I'm very relaxed because I long weekends for, for oh. day off. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, sir. Okay. The mm -hmm. power of, of the tanky, uh, taking care of the girl and then understand the important sense of uh, having time for everything and that you can learn for uh, everything beginning. She does. She doesn't like to how noise when she works, but then uh, learn the import. The important uh, you can learn the different situation. For example, uh, cooking and watch uh, what TV that similar the the read the the, the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is my idea. Okay, okay, very good. So, and, and if we have to reflect on it, sorry, um, just uh, I, I had to add something else that um, probably sometimes um, we don't like to do uh, like favors to someone else for any reasons, okay? So probably uh, we have a specific reason for that, but uh, for instance, if you wanna uh, just check your this case, the ones that we're watching here in this video, um, well, there we saw that it probably she was like a, for for her an important person, um, in, in because we we're talking about a child, okay? It probably she yeah. was the best person that fits all the requirements for her in order to take care about a your child, okay? So, child. and, mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah, when, when you give a power to another person, you you can do a, a better person. That That's that's the point. Yes, that's the point there. Probably, uh, we can say like, ah, it's gonna be disgusting, it's gonna be awful if I do this, if I do that, okay? but if you did if you do the things uh, with uh, like love and, and if you take care about things that uh, probably someone else or uh, you do something for someone else that it's requesting for uh, well I, I consider this is uh, in my, my personal opinion here it, that you don't have to wait uh, for something uh, back. Okay, so if, if someone else is requesting something, if you are able to do that, so um, why not uh, do that thing? Okay, why not? So if we have the possibility to do it. So the situation is that uh, sometimes when we do something, 
uh, we consider, okay, if I do this, uh, then you owe me a favor later, okay? So, and that's uh, something that I consider, my, this, uh, as I said before, right? Uh, this is my personal opinion. Um, if I'm going to do something uh, for someone else, uh, I don't have to wait anything else from that person, okay? Because I'm going to feel so much better um, uh, with myself doing that. So that, that's something that, that, that I can just mention here, okay? So I don't know if someone else wants to add something else. Anyone else want to add uh, any other opinion about this? Now one? For okay, me, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. Okay. Um, well, uh, we're going to move to the next part. So we have been discussing here. We uh, just uh, get a time in order to uh, practice there. And we're going to move to the next lesson. Um, because we're going to be just working some specific things. Uh, just take a look of this. And it says, by the end of this lesson, uh, I mean, <laughs> by the end of this class, uh, because I was just casting that, that by the end of this lesson, okay, just it's by the end of this class, you will learn how to make a request with model plus if clauses in germs. Okay, that's the aim of this uh, video here. So we're going to watch it and then we're going to extend the information here. Okay, so these are, um, uh, as you can see there, um, these are just requests. So we're going to say like, uh, these are just some questions that we can uh, put in practice if we want to uh, request something. You're gonna see here uh, from uh, questions from less formal to more uh, formal, okay? That's gonna be like the, the category that, one, that we just have there, okay? Pay attention to this video and then we are going to be discussing about the uses of it. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models, we want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder: you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so? What are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there: can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses. Well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word. That's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? OK. And what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund, right? So would you mind? After would you mind, um, we're going to have to use a gerund. And I'm going to quickly point that out here in a second. So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we on the left, we see that if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? 
that is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're gonna use that with the friend. Usually, with the friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it, it all depends. You will typically just say, "Hey, can I borrow twenty dollars from you?" Right? Um, but as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off, uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that. Um, so let's let's do the example. How, how are we going to do this? So, well, uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it? Well, you can say, can I borrow $20? That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, could you lend me twenty dollars, right? So I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs, the uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out. That's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow twenty dollars, all right? And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow twenty dollars? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow twenty dollars? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out. I, I don't. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you can as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply. Um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite. Right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change into the past in order to sound more polite, right? What would be another way to say this? Well, we can say, um, would you mind if I borrow $20? That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression, would you mind lending me $20? So in this case, whenever you see would you mind the expression would you mind without the if right whenever you see the expression would you mind this is always going to follow a gerund so it's always going to follow a gerund would you mind lending me twenty dollars the example that we see uh, in this little chart is would you mind letting me use your laptop as you can see so we had to change the birth let to um, a gerund uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there so those would be I wonder if I could borrow twenty dollars and I was wondering if you mind lending me twenty dollars okay and as you can see I also um, highlighted this in red because um, 
after we see the word mine or the verb mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you, the, uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations. Okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda? Right. This is the situation and what... Okay, um, I'm going to stop there because he is just explaining uh, just about the situation that you're going to take into account in order to develop this activity. Um, I just want to um, uh, give a, a little bit explanation about the uses of this kind of questions. Um, well, you can see there uh, that we have a identify each question there from less formal to more formal. That's going to be, he said that's going to be like, uh, depending on the person that we're going to be asking for. Uh, for instance, if we have a friend, uh, so we can use um, questions that, that, that are like uh, less formal, they, they, mostly because we are more confident with them in order to ask or to request something. Uh, questions like, can I borrow your pencil? Can I borrow uh, $20 from you. So uh, there are things that uh, we consider like um, less formal in, in that structure uh, because there are th th those kind of questions usually uh, we do with someone we, that, that we know uh, for a long time, probably uh, a, a family member, probably um, a friend. Okay, but uh, just take a look and there is something that is not mentioned there. That's gonna be on the also depend on what we are going to ask for, okay? Because um, uh, as he mentioned before, a, a, a situation there that um, when you ask a, something specific, it's gonna be like one day off, for instance, um, and, and you have to request that to your boss. If that's something that you are not going to, to, to go with them and you're going to say, uh, okay, sir, um, can I just um, request you one day off? So that is not formal in that way. So, and also we cannot use that kind of questions like that, like the ones that we have there in let's formal, we're going to go um, within a being polite. And we are going to say, well, sir, I was wondering, I was wondering if you don't mind um, to have a day off the next uh, Monday because I have something to do, and we we'll, we we'll start explaining things in order to request that day off. Um, so we are not going to to, to the office of the boss. We want to say, ah, okay, um, can I have the uh, this Monday off? So we are not going that way. So that also we are going to take care about what we are going to ask for. Okay. Uh, for instance, just take a look of the questions that we have there. Uh, if we use, uh, can I borrow your pencil? Pencil is something that is insignificant. We want to say that that is in that case. In that in that case, so the jacket. So in there, we are scaling for things that are a little bit more important, like your phone, like your city warner, um, so the favors like pick up uh, on Friday nights, things that we are going to take time from uh, the other person that we're requesting for, uh, or more important things. So we are not going to, for instance, so if we have a friend, even if we have a friend that, that we know them, um, we know him uh, for a long time, we're not going to say, hey, can I borrow your car? So that's gonna be like, oh, okay, no, right? Yes, there is not something like formal. We're gonna go with our friend because the, the car is something important. So um, we're going to, to, to go with, with him or her. So when I say, um, well, I was wondering, wondering if you don't mind to uh, lend me your car uh, for tomorrow because I have to. So we're going, we are just starting that conversation in that way. Uh, being polite, okay? So that, that's something that I have to mention uh, of these questions because um, we're gonna start, we're gonna be using each question depending of uh, what we are going to ask for, okay? So that, that's something that I have to mention, like, like a, a tip that, that you can take into account in order to 
use this kind of uh, equations, okay? So, and there you have some situation. Um, and it says, lend, uh, lend me some money for soda, return this box to the library for me. Uh, let me borrow your math homework. And the last one, it says, can I look at the magazine when you have finished reading it? Okay, all, all those situations, uh, we're not been working with all of them. Probably you are going to take one of them as an example, then you're gonna be uh, just restructurating each questions that you see there. That's gonna be your homework. And you're going to send me the evidence of that homework using, let, just let me see if we have the phone on here. Uh, yes, here we have. Uh, we wanna add a publication, uh, I, I mean a post uh, there, and we are going to include each question and we are going to set up just one of these situations here. Uh, for instance, you can set up a one, the, the number one, the number two, the number three, or the number four, and then you're going to be adapting all questions here. And uh, at the end, you're gonna be posting uh, all those questions here in the forum, okay? Uh, is it clear what you're going to do? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, very good, amazing. Guys, um, well, just seeing a uh, clock here, <laughs> time is, is over. Uh, but before leaving uh, this uh, video conference, I want, I want to ask you if there is uh, something that you want to um, ask, something that you want to know about the platform, probably any exercise that you haven't uh, developed yet because you have any, any problem with that, uh, or, well, just something that uh, you want me to explain a little bit better. I don't know, there is something. Um, si existe algo que eh, de, quieran preguntar, pues este es el momento idóneo. Puede ser sobre algún ejercicio que hayan estado intentando desarrollar y no lo han podido este, completar, pues lo podemos ver ahorita. No sé si alguien quiere este, eh, preguntar, hacer un comentario, algo que quieren que les explique este un poco más, no sé. Vamos a tomar este minuto que nos queda para eso. Maybe the difference between borrow and lend. Um, well, if we just check the information here, um, want to say like the difference, will it be like a whole formal, are you asking something? Both, um, it's like uh, the, the same way to request for something. Like, um, eh, when I say like, eh, can I borrow your pencil? It's like you are taking something, okay? If you have the, the pencil probably in, in your hand when you are um, eh, saying that, okay? So can I borrow your pencil? But you have that pencil in, in my hand right now. So, it's but mine. Y, no, no, eh, like, eh, por ejemplo, este, cuando nosotros utilizamos Can I borrow your pencil, este, eh, es eh, como, como una manera este, menos informal este, decirlo eh, y, y poniendo un contexto en el que nosotros podemos utilizar esa, esa pregunta, sería como, este, eh, me puedes prestar eh, el lapicero, pero yo ya lo tengo en la mano, ¿sí? ya lo he tomado de forma inmediata. Porque tengo una confianza con esa persona de que yo puedo venir y solo tomo la cosa. O puedo este, tomar tu este, plumón, digamos, tu lapicero, tu marcador. ¿sí? Pero ya lo tengo en la mano y, y no me ha contestado ni sí ni no cuando yo ya lo estoy utilizando. ¿sí? Ahora, cuando nosotros preguntamos, can you let me a jacket? Y nosotros estamos esperando una respuesta de esa persona. ¿sí? Eh, can you let me a jacket? Ok. Eh, ¿Me podrías este, prestar eh, una chaqueta? Nosotros vamos a esperar si esa persona nos responde sí o no. ¿Ok? Ambas se pueden utilizar. Eh, lo único que este, va a depender del contexto que nosotros le demos eh, a cada una de ellas. La primera es menos informal. Sí, es como a manera de informar algo, ¿verdad? Y la segunda es, estamos nosotros esperando por una respuesta para este, que esa persona pues, nos haga eh, este, o nos responda a ese tipo de, de, de favor que nosotros estamos solicitando. 
¿Sí? ¿Sí me voy a entender, Lorena? Mm, I, I was looking for the difference and, and it, I think I, I understand different because it says like, did he borrow money from the bank to buy his house? And the next, uh, the bank lent him the, the money. It's like something is mine and I, and I can offer it to you. And the other is when, when it, I am going to, to, it is not mine, it's yours and, I, and you're going to let me, it, let, it to, let it to me. That's, I know, I, I, I was a little okay. confused. Uh, okay, I, I see. Um, well, just let me tell you that uh, you can uh, use past, above, above questions in the same situation. Uh, probably you are referring when we just changed the, uh, probably a situation where you have something that you have uh, give to someone and you want it back, okay? Uh, ah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. In that in that, okay, something like that, right? But um, even though if you use in that context, so we can use it in, in both too. So you can request something to someone, but you're expecting uh, to the other person to answer you. So like, like the example that you're giving there right now, you are, uh, you can go to a bank and, and, and you can say, could you lend me uh, some money for my project? Okay, so you are requesting something, but you are going to wait for the answer. So uh, if we go there, uh, can I borrow uh, $20,000? Okay, yeah. so okay. It, it's like a little bit informal to, if we go in that way. So that, okay. that's something that we can mention there. Thanks. So, okay? Yeah, thanks. Okay, so uh, guys, well, times uh, has, uh, <laughs> has passed uh, for now. So we're gonna see, we wanna be uh, discussing a little bit more about these models, the if classes in your in this coming uh, class, it's gonna be tomorrow. Uh, because we're going to discuss a lot of things. We have a lot of things in order to work on it in section number three uh, about requests, okay? So um, for now, uh, you have just one homework. That is uh, create uh, questions for one of the cases here. Just choose one and then pass it there in the forum, okay? So I will see you tomorrow. Blessing to all of you and bye-bye. Okay. Have a nice bye -bye. night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night to everyone.